It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. On social media, I found a particular video that I needed to respond to. Mission Democracy. We cannot kick the can down the road with fascism. From Taylor Green to Lauren Borbridge, we must stop fascism and everything they stand for before it's too late for America. Before I respond to the video, I first want to state that I'm not necessarily a fan of the Republican Party. I am not a Democrat either. And matter of fact, when it comes down to my own personal political leanings, when I do these political tests, I almost always come across as socially liberals according to the results. Although I'm socially liberal according to the test, I'm basically politically independent. But even though I'm politically independent and socially liberal, I value the truth more than my own personal leanings and feel as though that sometimes when people make videos about other people, they almost always misrepresent the opponent. So hopefully this response will show you guys how dangerous the ideas of propaganda can truly be. Wrong is just wrong. You know it when you see it. But it's by Toni Morrison. She won a Nobel Prize for literature. We know better. But it's hard to know what to do. Easier to let it go. So you just kick the can down the road. In the opening image of the video, it showed that one of the characters is basically burning a book. But if there's some sort of evidence to show that basically people are actually burning books for the Republican Party. Well, this post right here says Missouri Republicans at a literal book burning. They think frame throwers should be legal, but history books should be destroyed. So let's see the video and question the details behind it. At first glance, it seems as though there might be evidence for the case that Republicans are in fact burning books. However, it's really, really important to apply skepticism for these types of videos. The fact checker underneath the tweet says that the video shows two Republican senators burning a pile of empty boxes they said symbolize woke liberal agenda, leftist politics, one of the senators also stated that he will burn woke books too on the front lawn of the governor's mansion. In other words, the video is not necessarily evidence of Republicans actually burning books. The second thing is the notion of a book ban because to me, that whole entire phrase is a misnomer. The main reason why I'm saying that is largely because the phrase Book ban suggests that basically you cannot necessarily buy the book online, at stores, whatever. But that's not necessarily the case either. Because there are schools that are removing the books, yes that is true. But there's no evidence that the books that are being removed from schools are being removed nationwide. My final point is that basically when it comes down to the issue about the books that are being removed in school, here's the Senator John Kennedy that read out loud some of the material that are contained within the books. Us to do. Let's take two books that have been much discussed. Um, the first one is called all boys aren't blue. And I will quote from it. I put some lube on and got him on his knees. And I began to slide into him from behind. I pulled out of him and kissed him while he masturbated. He asked me to turn over while he slipped a condom on himself. This was my ass. 
and I was struggling to imagine someone inside me. He got on top and slowly inserted himself into me. It was the worst pain I think I have ever felt in my life. Eventually, I felt a mix of pleasure with the pain. Close quote. All boys aren't blue. The second is a, a, another much-discussed book. Um, I'm sure you're familiar with it. It's called Gender Queer. Okay. Let me read an excerpt from that. Quote, I got a new strap-on strap harness today. I can't wait to put it on you. It will fit my favorite dildo perfectly. You're going to look so hot. I can't wait to have your cock in my mouth. I'm going to give you the blowjob of your life. Then I want you inside of me. End quote. Now, Mr. Secretary, what are you asking us to do? Are you suggesting that only librarians should decide whether the two books that I just referenced should be available to kids? Is that what you're saying? No. Okay. Tell me what you're saying. Well, uh, first of all, th there's this. Don't give me a speech. Tell me what you're asking will, me to do. With all due respect, Senator, and, uh, the words you spoke are disturbing, especially coming out of your mouth is very disturbing. But I would, I would also tell you that we're not advocating for kids to read porn, to Senator Booker's what point. What are you advocating for? We are advocating for parents random parents not to have the ability under the guise of keeping kids safe to try and challenge the world view of every single manner on these issues. You're getting conceptual game. I'm what not getting conceptual. Well, I'm yes, saying you that are. Yes, you are. Because you, you, I want to know what you're recommending. As you guys can see, the material for Jenna Queer and All Boys Aren't Blue are incredibly graphic so the main reason why some books are being removed from school is largely because of graphic material for minors so in short there is no such evidence of republicans burning books there's no such book ban that's actually going on right now and that the books that are being removed are especially inappropriate for minors <laughs> Please, I didn't do anything wrong. It was a miscarriage. It's for the courts to decide, man. Let's go to the original source to see if there's actually any sort of truth behind these claims. In a post-void world, more miscarriage and stillbirth prosecutions await women. In Texas, 26-year-old Lizelle Herrera was arrested and charged with murder for a self-induced abortion in California, 29-year-old Adonna Perez served four years in prison after giving birth to a stillborn son. And in Mississippi, Lawrence Fisher was arrested after losing her baby at 36 weeks after police found she searched for abortion information online. Herrera's indictment in April's arrest on a murder charge for a self-inflicted abortion that allegedly took place months earlier and was for the Zinstry attorney reported by the hospital that treated her outraged women's rights advocates. Her arrest came after Texas banned abortions past six weeks and empowered private citizens to sue medical professionals suspected of violating the law and seek boundary for at least $10,000 per illegal procedure. Horrera, who cannot be reached for comment, was jailed for days with a bail set of $500,000 until the prosecutor dropped the incitement and concluded there was no crime. Just three states that have laws that directly criminalize women for self-inducted abortion, all of which exempt life-saving situations. In Oklahoma, a woman who solidates her attempt to commit an abortion can face as much as one year in jail or pay a 1000 fine. 
In Nevada, a woman who seeks an abortion after the 24th week of pregnancy can be charged with manslaughter and face up to 10 years in prison. Women in South Carolina who self-manage their abortion outside of a hospital or clinic after their first trimester can face a misdemeanor charge in as much as two years in prison. Based upon what I'm finding in this article, it seems though that there might be some sort of half-truth. While it's true that in states that don't actually have abortion, basically women are being persecuted for abortion, there are also states that have abortion legalized that are not necessarily persecuting women. So this truth is actually a half-truth in regards to the source material that the whole entire video cited. Wrong is wrong, but what can you do? They want you to think slavery was all bad, but slaves learned valuable skills, like being a blacksmith. That's racist and a lie. It's in the school curriculum, endorsed by our fine governor. It's ridiculous. Ooh. What are you doing? Let's go. Let's go with me. <laughs> Politicians who lie are manipulating you so they can gain or maintain power, turning families and friends against each other and often leading to violence. Surely you have to do something about that, don't you? When it comes down to the notion that Florida is teaching the idea that African Americans benefited from slavery, I cannot necessarily see that whole entire bit in the slightest in the original document. The Florida Board of Education approved new social studies standard on July 19th following a law that passed the legislation in 2022 known as the Stop Wong Against Our Kids and Employees Act or Stop the Woke Act. The law bans workplace and schools from teaching that anyone must feel guilt based based upon their race as a result of actions by others in the past. Earlier this year, Florida rejected a new high school advanced placement course on black studies. The 216-page standard document covers a broad sweep of black history, along with topics such as the Holocaust, world history, and geography, and included different standards for elementary, middle, and high school students. The part of Florida's new standards that Harris was citing was for grades 6 through 8, it says, examine the various duties and trades performed by slave, agricultural work, painting, carpety, tailoring, domestic servants, blacksmithing, and transportation. Now let's go to the original document that this article cited. It says, examine the various duties and trades performed by slave, agricultural work, painting, carpentry, tailoring, domestic service, blacksmithing, transportation. Instructions include how slaves develop skills in which in some instances could be applied for their personal benefit. So based upon the original document from the state of Florida, it's not necessarily making the argumentation that slaves are in fact benefiting from being enslaved but rather the career paths that they actually are using, they're kind of benefiting from working from that. So it's CMS and Dell that is actually, you can say again, a half-truth on this whole entire issue. Because if you keep kicking the can down the road, eventually you run out of road. Those are racist and Nazi slogans. Just stop! Haven't I seen you around town holding hands with another man? That's none of your business. I disagree. What? Jews will not replace us! This is America! This particular claim is like the only claim that I found that's not necessarily a half true or outright lie. Republican Paul Gozar promotes another anti-Semitic site that praised Hitler and denies the Holocaust. Paul Gozar yesterday used his house.gov newsletter to promote the USSA News, a friend site that has posted content calling the Holocaust the Holocaust and telling readers to stand up for Hitler. Gozar promotion of the anti-Semitic outlet comes just months after he sent followers to a different site that also denied the Holocaust and praised Hitler. Gozart has frequently promoted anti-Semitic media 
in recent years. He has met with Holocaust denier Nick Frendis and repeatedly spoke at his conferences and he promoted anti-Semitic Vincent James Fox. Gozar drew criticism in April after he used his new letter to direct people to a story that praised him for attacking Jewish warmongers for the support of Ukraine. Gozar linked to Veterans Today, an anti-Semitic website that has called the Holocaust a lie and a hoax and praised Hitler as a great man and a man of value. It helps stop MAGA Republican fascism before it's too late. Because the MAGA Republican vision of America is anti-American. Protect your freedom and our democracy by supporting Mission Democracy. In conclusion, this video, like with all propaganda, have half-truths, outright exaggerations, outright lies. And honestly, I think the best way for political discussion to actually occur is to not necessarily strawman your opponent. But what do you guys think about my response? Was I fair? Tell me in the comment section down below. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare, as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.